everybody hope you're well today i've got all of my october makes to show you i actually can't believe we are already halfway through november there's a few things that you will have seen and definitely a few things that you won't have seen so let me get started and show you all of my makes before i get started if you are into making your own wardrobe and you want some creative inspiration this is what the channel is here for and if you haven't already subscribed to my channel i would love it if you would do that just hit that little subscribe button notification bell and you will be alerted to all of my episodes as soon as they come out. On a personal note, I want to say a big happy 27th wedding anniversary to my wonderful hubby. This is actually recorded on the 13th of November, so it's Friday the 13th. It's a very lucky number for us. If you don't already know that Joe, my hubby, is at my photographer and the person who does a lot of the videoing when I do some modeling. Uh, yeah, so he's always here to support the channel and support me and I love him very much celebrate our anniversary we always try and go away for a few days and of course we had this planned we had a few little trips planned throughout the year and of course we had to get them all uh, pushed aside because of the lockdown and now that we're out of that we can actually start to do a bit of traveling again so i'd love to take you guys with me to our little getaway we're going to have to ballarat and show you a little bit of the town we've been there a few times before and it's a great little uh, town in the uh, sort of central part of victoria that has a lot of history and a lot of great shopping so it's a beautiful sightseeing as well i'm secretly hoping i can find some fabric shops there so if you live around that area or you know any great shops in that vicinity of ballarat let me know because i will be dragging him around and showing him the last year for our anniversary we went into the city and i made sure that i dragged him around to all the fabric shops especially the ones in brunswick and fitzroy because i was dying to have a look and yeah he came with me he didn't mind i think it's always fun to incorporate a little fabric shop or fabric browse if you have a getaway to a brand new town and you can find some wonderful new little independent shops Let's get started on the makes for October. This dress I've got on was actually a pattern that was sent to me by a wonderful viewer. That is Kerry from Darwin. She sent me two wonderful patterns. And this is the Sydney designer dress by Starlight Patterns. Uh, they come in sizes six to 30 Starlight Patterns. It's a really unusual dress. And this fabric, I will show you up close as well, is gorgeous. It's just a polyester, really light, silky, um, gorgeous fabric. The print is what attracted me to it first. It's got like beautiful um, perfume bottles. I think the name of it is Diva and I do think they've still got it listed on their website. So I'll link it below. If you're wanting to get some of this fabric, you won't be disappointed. It's really bold and beautiful and I think that kind of geometric um, pop of colour, the pinks, the rust, the greens on that beautiful deep teal background, it's just all of my things that I love. The pattern itself was a really unusual pattern. It's one I'd looked at before and never actually quite thought about sewing it up because I wasn't really sure whether the shape would suit me. It is very oversized but mainly that is around the middle section. So you've got to still make sure if you're going to size down, you've got to make sure that it'll fit you especially around the bust area because that isn't that roomy it's got a little bit of room it's perfect for me this is the size 12 I actually made normally i'm a size 14 in starlight patterns but i knew from looking at previous reviews that this was a very oversized dress um, so the 12 i think fits me fine i wouldn't like to go down anymore um, it's got a lovely little cuff on it as well and that lovely sort of um, seam around the bodice gives you a bit of shaping around the around the bust area the skirt itself is very, very oversized. It's like a big balloon kind of shape with some inset pockets in the front. And it has also a little uh, binding around the hem. So it, I'll show you some pics and some videos. It's really hard to describe without seeing it, but it's got some really interesting seam lines as well. I've seen this before made in a washed linen. It looks gorgeous in that. A nice soft drapey fluid linen. I think you'd need to watch if you were doing it in more of a stiffer kind of mid-weight linen. It could look a little bit... Um, too structured you need a bit of drape in this dress um, this poly works beautifully but something like a rayon or a silk I think would just be magnificent in silk I can just imagine it now um, but it's this kind of dress that you feel like you're wearing um, sort of like a muumuu or a caftan but it's got like the little style edge to it that's quite unique because I would change next time I would definitely raise the pockets the pockets are in the front of the skirt and they are just sort of 
Oh, they're really, really low, actually. I find that um, when your hands are in them, you're kind of stretching down to put your hands in them. So I'd probably raise the pockets a good five centimeters and maybe even a tad more because I think you would get to that stage where if you raise them up too much, you're going to have all that bulk around the middle. And you know that pockets add a little bit of bulk, especially the sort of sturdier fabric. The fabric's not really light and soft and fluid. You don't want that bulk around the middle. So you still want to keep those style lines. So really be careful if you're going to raise the pockets. Yeah, I reckon five centimeters tops. I wouldn't do any more than that. I think that would be heaps. I love this dress and it was definitely one, as I say, I looked at, thought it looked really different, but I'm not scared of different. I'm quite uh, happy to try new unique style patterns especially when i've got a wonderful viewer there that's offering to buy me the pattern to try it because she's been looking at it for quite a while but i would say kerry i would definitely make this dress look for a soft fluid fabric or a soft uh, linen fabric and also look at raising your pockets just a smidge and i think you'll be really happy with it now this next make is actually one my daughter named phoebe uh, my daughter the oldest daughter she's 24 24 on friday next week <laughs> she's actually doing her textiles course at rmit at brunswick uh, and she saw this fabric online and she she's one of those people that she's only taken up sewing for the last 12 months and mainly in lockdown she really got into her sewing techniques and she chose a simplicity pattern which was a bomber style jacket straight away i thought oh i don't know if i would have chosen that for a beginner style it's one of those things i would have shied away from straight away when i started sewing because for one suggest to beginner sewers to try indie patterns for especially for their sewing instructions because they are really hold your hand style instructions that will take you through all the steps and explain the steps uh, a lot of the big four patterns unless you're uh, you've been sewing for quite a while you may miss a lot of those instructions you might find them a bit hard to sort of interpret yourself and a lot of those lining techniques not really well explained and you can get a bit lost um, but you know what she surprised me she she yeah I shouldn't have underestimated her because she she got through it she made it in this beautiful Tazuti fabric so you're a beginner sewist you're buying this beautiful luxurious fabric from Tazuti patterns uh, fabrics that isn't cheap but it's stunning it's a camo print I think I showed you guys in the last fabric haul and it's got this beautiful glitter through it so it's although it's a camo print it's all it's very luxurious and very um very special looking it's yeah it's it's stunning uh, I'll show you some pics of it on me. She didn't want to model it herself. She's not into doing that. She just said, you can show it, but I'm not modeling it. So I'm like, fine, I'm fine with that. Um, yeah, she decided to go for that pop of color. On the inside, it's got that beautiful rust color, which is also a lining from Tazuti Fabrics. Uh, and I will link the fabric. I think they still have got this in store if you're after it. Uh, it is a gorgeous Jacquard Lurex fabric that is, it's got a beautiful weight. And she trimmed it with this beautiful black sparkle ribbing, which um, I'm not sure where she got it. I will look into it. I'll list that below. Um, I know that that is one of the fabrics. I think it could be Wattle Hill. Correct me if I'm wrong, but yeah, I'm pretty sure it was Wattle Hill. So I think that really um, just makes it, just adds that little pop of interest and really goes back nicely with that slight sheen and glitter through the fabric. But wow, she surprised me. She had a little bit of trouble with the lining. She said the lining was a little bit hard to work out. And it just goes to show, don't underestimate your kids. And if you're like me, you're one of those parents that tends to hover around when a kid's, you know, a bit of, maybe a bit of a control freak, but I don't think I'm a control freak, but certain things I could be <laughs> as far as if, you know, with the creative process, things that I know I love doing and I put a lot of effort into, I just stand back and really stop myself. But, you know, she's got her own sewing machine in that new room. So I just think it's great. I can hear her buzzing away. And um, yeah, it's a really good feeling when you know someone's making their own wardrobe. Always had trouble finding things she likes in store. She's never quite found things that she relates to. So I think sewing is great 
for younger people and old. I've had a lovely viewer um, that sent me through a very generous coffee um, from New Zealand and she just recently said that she took up sewing at the age of 60 and that I'd inspired her to get sewing and I think that's brilliant because look if it's a kind of hobby you could really take through with you till your you know till the day you die you're basically you're sitting at a sewing machine it's therapeutic it's a beautiful creative process and I'm just so glad I found sewing when I did and I really wish I had have found it years ago or, or kept at it years ago even though I found it years ago I didn't stick at it but now I just think well there's so many things I wouldn't have done and I would have changed and I just think yes yeah, sewing came at the perfect time for me in my life and I'm, I'm really hoping it's um, getting you guys all feeling the same way and feeling inspired to just make your own clothes, make your own wardrobe. I think there's nothing better. So one of my most popular videos this month was the new release of the Pattern Emporium loungewear dress. Now, how fantastic is that? My other one that I actually had on in the video is in the wash. That's how much I love it because I wore it all day yesterday and maybe the day before. That is such a great dress. And if you'd like me and you're out shopping, it was the first time I've been shopping in quite a while and I wore it out and I just had some little sandals on and um, it was a high-low hem, the black floral. And I heard, I walked past a lady and I heard her, she saw her say to her friend, that's really lovely and pointed to my dress. And yeah, I was just out of earshot. So I just kept walking. I thought, well, this is just a loungewear dress, but just goes to show when you put a bit of your own personality into your clothing, how much more special it looks. And you, you can't buy that anywhere. That dress is mine, it's unique. It's super, super comfortable. So much so that I made three versions. If you remember the video, I will link that video if you haven't seen it. I made this beautiful short sleeve version as well in the gorgeous fabric from Fabric Deluxe. Of course, everyone wanted this fabric, went crazy for it and they sold out of it. So yeah, I know they have some beautiful knit fabrics on there, some really unusual um, designs and something a bit more a bit different a bit more unusual you'll definitely find a fabric deluxe and beautiful service as well the last one I made was in a nighty a v-neck in a beautiful brush poly in a lilac color and I've yeah, worn that heaps already so these are the kind of things that I will find myself living in all summer and I think you guys for over in the cooler climates will find that the winter versions are spectacular. There is that beautiful roll neck. There's a hoodie version. You can do it in thick fleeces, really warm, cozy dress, and you can wear them with leggings and layered. So you're almost wearing a sweatsuit style top, but it's a bit longer. You can do the shirt tail or the um, straight across hem. So you've got a lot of options for that there. So. Uh, I'll link that pattern as well underneath if you haven't bought it. Get onto the loungewear dress and love the pockets. I must admit, I think next time I'll definitely do another one with the pockets because they're, they're beautiful flat front pockets that are stitched around. Um, keeps them all nice and secure and you just feel really put together in it and very comfortable. What about my wonderful collab with Karina? A lot of you love the fact that we collab together and we are really good friends. We do speak a lot um, over Instagram. I had to laugh because this morning she put out a story of the birds, the parrots were annoying her and she, every time she went to speak, the parrot would be really loud and she had to keep repeating herself. And I thought, wow, we do have a lot in common. I always have to fight for the spotlight with the birds. Uh, yeah, it's quite funny actually looking at the editing. So. And you may know that last week I put out a video that was edited, that wasn't properly edited. I am human, I make mistakes. It was pretty hilarious. It goes to show how easy it is when you don't watch things through once, twice, three times to make doubly sure it's all done properly, you'll get caught out and you'll laugh. Uh, everyone will have a bit of a laugh at your expense, but you know what, I'm happy with that. I think, yeah, it's great to have a laugh at yourself, um, yeah. So I've decided to add on some bloopers after each episode because I really have trouble getting tongue tied um, I blame it on my, I blame it on my age. Menopause may be coming up. I think it's um yeah, it's one thing I do have trouble with sometimes is getting the right words out or finding the right words. So that's why I love editing. It's very clever. So the wonderful Karina and I did the pattern union collab. I did the Cora blouse done two different ways. That my first one in a beautiful tie front, and the other one was in a beautiful pink lurex as well love that gorgeous fabric it was a bit of a pain to sew with but i absolutely love the way it's come up and it's one of those things you need a little bit more patience with um, the skirt was the maxi skirt really pretty just straight style maxi skirt and lovely elastic waist because that's all i'm wanting to wear i've told you before i'm wanting elastic waist everything at the moment because comfort to me number one especially if it's stylish and comfortable um, I just think why suffer? Why be uncomfortable if you don't have to be? If you can make something beautiful and comfortable, 
um, that's the whole beauty of being able to sew. So the fabric was all from the fabric store online. Um, yeah, it's still available. I'll link that episode if you haven't seen it and you can see what Karina's done with her pattern union um, features as well there. I think it's just nice to make a coordinating set you know two or three things to, to sort of wear back with each other and get more versatility out of your wardrobe unwind sweater was another one i made i made a short sleeve rust color i made the lovely fleece in a beautiful jade color uh, fleece was from darn cheap fabrics here in melbourne and this fabric was from spotlight it was a short sleeve version i made it quite oversized I think next time I probably would go down to the 14 because I find it is very oversized in this style fabric because you've got a bit more ease with the stretch. But the 16 was perfect for the fleece, which didn't have as much give. So I think it's just good to experiment and then you find out what works for what fabric. And if you have a style that you can play with that many different fabrics, uh, a no pattern emporium always gives you a wonderful list of fabrics to use. And you can really have a good experiment and play and see what you like but I love the unwind sweater because of the simplicity of it and how it's just basically two pieces front and back and then you've just got your cuff and your um, neck binding. So yeah, it's a great pattern to have because of all the different options they give you for sleeve lengths, for different necks. You can really experiment and yeah, the scoop neck I think is also lovely as well, but it's something you can make in a t-shirt form or in a sweatshirt form. So that will be linked as well underneath. All of my patterns are listed in the description box for you to go back and look through. So the last two makes for October were some beautiful jackets. I am a pattern tester for the Rada Davies patterns and she put out a new overlap jacket. And you know, I was just saying to my daughter, I really want a simple style jacket to throw on, almost like a cardigan or a coatigan. Um, but to be made in like a nice woven fabric. And this pattern, yeah, she actually sent me the pattern a week later. So it was a really, really uh, weird timing how things like that happen. Um, because I had some fabric in a stash and I knew straight away this, when I bought this um, cotton sateen from Spotlight about a good eight months ago, I thought straight away, I just need to find the right style kimono shaped top or jacket for this. And this was perfect. So the overlap jacket comes in two different lengths. That one I did in the short length. And I actually had a little, uh, I've got a little koi fish brooch you'll see in the pictures as well. It just looks really special with it. Little elements can really make, uh, make a garment just elevate it to the next level. It doesn't take a lot and it's not expensive, but it really, I think, gives it that beautiful um, little special touch there. I think the Hong Kong finishing also is wonderful. If you haven't done that before, it's uh, she gives you a great tutorial on how to do that in the pattern as well. And it finishes all those seams off just really, uh, really nice and neat gives it that nice expensive look to it um yeah and the next one i made was in a lovely chunky um wide whale cord and that one i decided just to do the normal um french seams and then i did a beautiful facing on the inside of the front some gorgeous uh sort of coffee colored bird print satin that i had there like a more like a sateen but i didn't want to use the same cord for the facings because i think it might have been a bit too bulky and that was a yeah that was a great move there because i know it would have been quite chunky so i think go with something a similar kind of structure but you can go for a lighter weight just to give it that nice finish and that one i actually left the tie off the back but i made the ties for that because it's long and you can sort of wrap it around and cozy it up so you can really uh, experiment with fabrics with that she gives you a lovely list of fabrics to use and I know that um, Alex Judge made it in a beautiful boiled wool as well it looked gorgeous uh, yeah so there's quite a lot you can do with that and I think the love the beauty of that is there's no buttons there's no zips if you're wanting a really quick easy jacket to make and you've got some great fabric there this the overlap is a great one to go for so I've got so much happening at the moment I've got quite a few episodes that will be coming out uh, in the next few weeks with quite a few makes that you haven't seen yet I haven't talked about yet but I know that you guys are all waiting to see these pants episodes and they are coming up very shortly I've found so many great patterns and I'm really glad I decided to experiment with that because the beautiful half elastic back pants have, have got to be my favorite and I've found quite a few patterns and I've sewn up as well some beautiful pants that you guys I think are gonna love as well so if there's something that you want to see me so please let me know in the comments below what was your favorite make of the month for October I'd love to hear what you thought and what are you making at the moment I'd love to hear what you're creating if you've got your sojo happening or if you're feeling a bit low in the sojo is there something that we could do to inspire you 
and you hopefully the people that are in lockdown you might have a bit of a stash there that you can work through as well because that's always a bonus if you've got that thank you for the wonderful support that you give me every time i release a new video the best way to support the channel of course is to give it a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it and we will see you very shortly for the next episode so take care bye for now We, we were scratching. <sighs> Last year, it was our anniversary, we went to the city and I dragged him around a lot of the, the fabric stops. Uh, the last year for our anniversary, we had a getaway to the city and I dragged him around to all of the fabric stops.